Shalom, beloved. A word. We're going to talk about the standard. And we're going to do the standard measured upon the differences of standards between two brothers and the difference of standards between two different groups of people. Yes, beloved, we're talking about standards. According to the Webster's Dictionary, standard. Some standards are a flag, a banner, especially a national banner or flag or other ensign. That which is established by authority as a rule for the measure of quantity, extent, value, or quality. To shorten it, that which is established by authority as a rule for the measure of value, for the measure of value or quality, the standard, the standard between two different groups, the standard between two different brothers. When we look in the book of Jeremiah, we're starting in chapter 51, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. We're doing the measure of value, the measure of quality. There is a standard upon Babylon. It is a spiritual standard. It is seen from the earthly level and it is also seen from the eternal level. Set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon. Babylon, this large mountain, set up this standard, this measure of value, this measure of quality upon the walls of Babylon and make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes for the Lord hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Yes, it's a standard. Now, when we look at verse 19, we're in chapter 51. The portion of Jacob is not like them. The portion of Jacob is not like them. For he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. You see, the portion of Jacob is not like the standard of Babylon when it's valued and its measure of value, its measure of quality is looked upon. See, the standard of Jacob is Yahovah Nisi. He is Aben. There is a standard. There is a representative. Okay. But Yahuwah is our banner. Yahuwah Nisi is our standard. We follow his ways, his laws, his statutes, and commands. When we fall from grace, we beg his mercy while giving thanks for mercies past, mercies present, and mercies to come, even for unknown mercies. We thank him because we know we are sinners. We thank him for Yeshua HaMashiach. We are under his standard, his banner. You see, the portion of Jacob, let's go back, is not like them. Like who? Like Babylon. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. We're in chapter 51 of the book of Jeremiah. But you see, now that we just, we've established there are two different standards, the measurement of value, the measurement of quality. Babylon has a standard that the measure of what it values, the measure of what it calls quality or what is its quality is being looked at by the heavenly realm, by the eternal. We got watchers, make the watch strong. That's why so many brothers and sisters are speaking out. Set up the watchmen. Who are the watchmen, beloved? Watchmen, Hebrew or sentinel, the noun is derived from the Hebrew verb, meaning to look out or about, to spy, keep watch, properly to lean forward. In other words, to peer into the distance, to observe, to await, behold, to look up, to wait for. We watch and pray throughout scripture, Old and New Testament. 
watch, be ever watchful. He has set watchmen, watch women. He has set watchers. You have from the eternal realm and they behold the standard. You also had the watchmen and the watch women of the most high, those chosen ones right here. Okay, we peer into the distance. Yes, yes, yes. And we have a standard that we go by. Okay. Watchmen. And as we look, make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes for the Lord have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. In the midst of this, we're going to chapter 45 because here in chapter 51, Jeremiah is sending Sariah into Babylon to make a decree. And the word which Jeremiah the prophet commanded Sariah, the son of Neriah, when he went to Zedekiah, the king of Judah, in the Babylon in the fourth year of his reign. And this Sariah was a quiet prince. But Sariah was the son of Neriah, who was the son of Masiah. But he was also the brother of Baruch. He was the brother of Baruch. And this Sariah, he was a quiet prince. You see, he was at peace. He was a quiet prince. But when we go into chapter 45 and we read about Baruch, who was copying down the words that Jeremiah spoke, the word that Jeremiah the prophet spake unto Baruch, the son of Neriah, who we know he's the brother of Sariah because they're the, brother, the sons of the same man. He had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the Yah of Israel, unto thee, O Baruch. You see, Baruch is now being spoken to by the Most High through the prophet Jeremiah. Thou didst say, Woe is me now, for the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sorrow, in my sighing, and I find no rest. This is Baruch's work. Thou didst say, woe is me now, for the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow, and I fainted in my sighing and find no rest. Thou shalt also say unto him, the Lord th saith thus, behold, that which I have built, I will break down, and that which I planted, I will pluck up, even this whole land. And seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not. Seek them not. He's talking to Baruch. Baruch is saying, I find no rest. But when we look at his brother, Sariah, and this Sariah was a quiet prince. We're dealing in standards, beloved, the standard. You see, when your mind is stayed on the Lord, he keep you in perfect peace. When your mind is stayed on the Lord, he keep you in Perfect peace. Okay. Wait a minute. And forgive me, I'm moving around. I had something else pulled up, but I see it's not there. He keep you in perfect peace. But Baruch is talking about he has no rest. Where Sariah was a quiet prince. As we go further, Jeremiah is telling Sariah to go into Babylon. Forgive me, beloved, one second. And read the decree of their destruction. Now, you have to understand this Babylon of old was dazzling. There were many things to see, those shiny objects, those great wonders, those things that make you want more than maybe you should ask for, those things that have no true value although they look so valuable. This is the great city of Babylon. It is that city that Sariah is going into, okay? But he is sent by command. The prophet commanded Sariah 
to go into Babylon. And this Sariah, he was a quiet man, all right? He's reading the doom of Babylon. He's going in. Then shalt thou say, O Lord, thou hast spoken against this place to cut it off, that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but that it shall be desolate forever. And it, and it shall be when thou hast made an end of reading this book, that thou shalt bind a stone to it and cast it in the midst of, Euph of the Euphrates. And thou shalt say, thus shall Babylon sink and shall rise no more, shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her. And they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. Sariah went in on a mission, but he was a quiet man. He was at peace. But when we look at Baruch, Baruch is saying, Woe is me now, for the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow, and I faint in my sighing, and I find no rest. And the Lord asks him because he knows the means inside people's heart. And seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not. And seekest thou great things for thyself? You see, some of us in these lands of Babylon, our captivity, we're seeking great things for ourselves. But he's telling them, seek him not. Everything we have need of, the Lord already knows. That's why you have a difference in the standard of what Baruch is going by. He can't find any rest. But we know when a person's mind is stayed on the Lord, they're kept in perfect peace. So him and his brother are going by different standards. OK, we, too, beloved, are under different standards. All right. We also know, and I'm going back to chapter 51. That Yasharel is not under the standard that Babylon is under. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. But when we look at verse 19, the portion of Jacob is not like them. The standard. The banner that we're under, beloved. There's a standard that we got to live by. And you see, when you know what you know, you also know before, while we're still speaking, the Lord will give us the secret desires of our heart. He knows what we're going to say before we even say it. He knows what we need. But you see the difference between the standards of the two brothers and how they affect them so much so that the Lord is looking at Baruch, seekest thou great things? Seek them not. Here in this land of our captivity, beloved, every man is brutus by his knowledge and every founder is confounded by the graven image. You see, in this land, we got graven images. And you got to understand, literally and figuratively, there are images graven in, the, in our inner eye about what is quality, what is, the measure, what is the measured value of something. But the standards that we live by will guide us, all right? Now, as we move forward, recognize it. there is a heavenly standard on Babylon, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon, make the watch strong, set up the watchmen, okay, but we also know the portion of Jacob is not like them, the standard of Jacob is not like them, so you got two standards, you're looking at it in the brothers, and you're looking at it between Jacob and Babylon, we also as we move forward, beloved, we're looking at what is going to come about in Babylon. Forgive me as I move forward. I'm going to verse 33. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the Yah of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It's a threshing floor. All right. They're going to take Babylon down to the threshing floor because they're going to separate the measure of true value from the measure of worthlessness. 
what is of value and what is worthless. Some of us, beloved, have been in the threshing floors in our lives and there are things we need to get rid of because they are worthless. They are chafe before the wind. And others are under a measure of value. That standard Yahuwah Nisi over us, our banner, okay? It is time to thresh her, to separate so we can see the true standard that she lives by, okay? And yet a little while in the time of her harvest shall come. See, we know that we are under the law of sowing and reaping, sowing and reaping. And when the reaping comes, we're in a harvest, all right? We also know that those who sow in iniquity shall reap evil. Okay, those who sow injustice, beloved, shall reap evil. Bear with me, bear with me. He who watches over Yasharel, though, never slumbers or sleeps. He's, we're under a different standard and measure of value, okay? But those who plan injustice will harvest, harvest disaster. We're watching because we know just like Sariah was sent to Babylon, he wasn't caught up in the razzle-dazzle. He wasn't seeking great things. Like God told him, sold his brother, seek them not. Some of us, we're chasing the shiny thing, not understanding those things are carnal. Those things are temporal. They pass away. They pass away, but seek those things that change if not, that are everlasting, laying up a treasure with our father that never rust nor fade away. Yes, the standard, beloved, there's a standard. We're under Yahuwah Nisi, and when it comes to Babylon, he's calling out what the watchers see, what the watchmen see, what we see. There's a standard that they set on the wall of Babylon. And as we speak it to one another, we also speak these words that Yah spoke to Baruch. And seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not. Particularly in a landmark for destruction. In a landmark for destruction, beloved. You see, Babylon, is like a threshing floor. And the time of her harvest is come, shall come. It's just a little while, but the watchers, the watchmen on the wall know there's a standard up there. This mountain called Babylon is going to blaze on fire. There's a standard on the wall of Babylon. And it's going to be burned down. But there's also a standard on Jacob on Yasharet, and seekest thou great things, my brother. No, 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 seek them not. Seek ye first the Lord, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things shall be added unto you, beloved. And as far as the difference between them, here's Sariah, his brother, a quiet man. He's at peace, he's at rest. Baruch can find no rest, but when we look at what the Lord is asking him, Seekest thou great things, seek them not. Those things that thou needest to do, but understand everything that you're looking at is going to vanish away. Seek the Lord and his kingdom. And to finish, beloved, we're at Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 33. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the Yah of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. They're going to go in and separate the measure of value from the measure of worthlessness. It is time to thresh her, to see what value is in her. Yet a little while in the time of her harvest shall come. Well, you have to wonder what kind of seeds did Babylon sow? We already know the kind of seeds. And we know the harvest. So when we look at the standard, the standards, we're going to look at the standard of Babylon. Their threshing time has come. 
and the harvest is getting ready to come upon them. We also know the standards of two brothers. One is walking around in peace, and that's Sariah. Sariah, he was a quiet man, a quiet prince. He's at peace. But when we look at his brother Baruch, Baruch, thou didst say, woe is me now, for the Lord has added grief to my sorrow, and I fainted in my sign, and I find no rest. But when we go down, the Lord is asking him, and seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not. Behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh, saith the Lord. But thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all places, whither thou goest. Beloved, seekest thou great things? Seek them not. Seek the Lord while he may be found. And the standard that you are measured by, let it not be under the standard of Babylon, but under the standard of Jacob, under the banner of Jehovah Nisi, the standard, beloved, two different nations, the standard of two brothers. Seekest thou great things, if thou seekest great things, what be greater than the most high? Beloved, it is a word. Shalom, beloved.